Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and it is time for another Extra Naughty's Monthly Roundup. 25 mini reviews in this video right here, all bass music, all came out last month, June 2023, covered in alphabetical order by way of artist or record label name. The extra mentions coming at the end of the video, those which I didn't have quite enough to say about them to mention here in the main part and give a mini review, but which I still recommend you guys should check out because they are still pretty pretty sick. And this one, this video in particular, absolutely stacked with massive names because it is festival season of course, where all the big names are dropping their material for the year. But yeah guys, you know how we do. Let's go. And kicking off this instalment, we have the new album from AC Slater, released on his very own night bass label, Together, which is decent. Got some vintage Slater house boppy kind of material. Mostly fun, mostly catchy. The MPH collaboration in particular, I find great with a load of other good collaborations beyond that, which are good. It doesn't really listen like an album, I wouldn't say, more like a compilation in terms of the relationship between the tracks we get here. But yeah, if you're looking to get into more house, then I would say look no further, pretty much. New EP from Autumn Hate, which starts off a little bit ordinary with the first few that we get here, the first three of the five in this EP, the ideas, the drops in them, but it finishes really well with the UK collab first off, which is very sharp more adventurous than what we get before in the EP, and then the final cut, the fifth cut we get here, which has one of the best intros and melodies by extension that I've heard in quite a long time. Really, really nice that. And a couple of nice jazzy outros we get in the five tunes of the EP. Yeah, that about sums it up. Nice experimentation from Beast Boy on his latest EP. You got the house to open up. Closing, you got a bit of a speed house situation. Not exactly that, but you know, kind of leaning towards that. And then really nice vocal samples on show again from him on at like that always with me. I don't think there are that many arresting drop ideas that we get here and it feels a little bit bloated as an EP overall with the six tracks we get but I think if you like his style there is quite a lot to get out of it. A definitive venture into house and techno music from Boombox Cartel as Boxcar. Yep, especially loving This Bed Won't Stop Spinning which is easily for me the most effective cut on the LP and one of my favourite tracks of the year so far. Then you've got others like Jellyfish Jam again and again any other way which are quite nice as well. I mean yeah yeah, there are a couple of dull moments here across the 14 tracks we get, I think, but a pretty good listen overall. New EP from Kanoto on Halcyon, which is made really well, loving the freshness of the sound usage overall. The whole thing has got this gorgeous kind of watery quality about it, and the melodies follow that as well. Just not that much material when it comes to the ideas, the drops within that, that I'm kind of itching to hear on repeat. I think aside from distance, the drop ideas here just don't really grab me all that much, but the good that I talked about earlier and mentioned very available and there to hear. Classically industrial and technological again from Eprom for his latest album which I'm enjoying quite a bit. Motion Blur and Trunk Acid will be standouts for me but generally yeah just quite varied and abstract with the approach. Different kinds of energy as per from him. Not stacked with memorable ideas but you know very Eprom with the sound, the setup, the construction of these tracks. Yeah very very him. New EP from Excision and Woolly which has its moments to be fair. I think the title track is pretty good overall. A couple of vocal touches is surrounding sections that work quite well. It's just most of the heaviness isn't really anything we haven't heard before from them individually as a pairing within the scene in general. So yeah, on that front, just fine. Not really venturing beyond straightforward. But yeah, good touches, like I said, dotted about here and there. I really enjoy that Hi I'm Ghost, a predominantly dubstep producer, of course, does house consistently. I think it's really cool. I think more artists should do it, just branch off every now and then, but quite often into a different style altogether. But there aren't that many great results here on this EP, I have to say. It feels a bit flat generally. I think the closer Mind Games gets closest with Jay Rose on the vocal. Very sweet vocal, nice track overall, but beyond that, just feeling a little bit tepid with the ideas and the production. Another good collection from Holly. Amazing range of influences on show. I like how it starts quite chilled and then gets heavier as it goes on. Some of the vocal sampling here is absolutely stunning. There's a real colour to it with the production, the design, the aesthetic overall as well. And I just find it quite gripping as a collection of tunes overall without the ideas being that kind of sticky or memorable or arresting per se. Yeah, a bit of a whirlwind experience all considered. New album from Hieroglyphics, which isn't bad. I think the D&B we get here, his usual style of course, mostly good without being great or remarkable. I'd say for me, I'm a bigger fan of the non-D&B moments that provide that important variety for the LP overall. Two for two with Deft is great 
and easily my favourite, another one of my favourite tracks of the year so far. So yeah, bottom line with this one, D&B, fine. Dubstep, jazz, trap, house, everything else that comes with that in terms of the experimentation is providing the character for this collection. A decent remix compilation for Post, the Icicle album, which is called Post Post, and which is more exciting than the original LP, I would have to say. The Sustance and Yarno remixes, which are standing out for me in particular, and the face and audio are pretty good as well. So yeah, just a bit of a range of energised takes that we get here on an album that I just found, well, the original album, just a little bit too simple. So yeah, just breathing a bit of life into it. Best Crow's Nest EP I've heard in a while from Impaled. Yeah, the execution not completely there, but it's good enough mostly. And some engaging ideas here, atmospheres, sounds. It's quite dark and brooding and twisted, contorted. How it's all brought together, got a bit of a crunchy feel to it. Feels quite menacing, looming over you kind of vibes. So yeah, it's good. And from a 14 year old, which is quite remarkable. So yeah, do go and check that one out. Good, solid album from Jules. Yep. I'm enjoying it and I can see it growing on me more as I go back to it more, which I will be doing. But yeah, I think as we get towards the end of the LP, there's a little too much of the same kind of energy at points. You know, it's quite hyper, this collection, and it could have done with a couple more chilled moments on that front and the production here and there, a little bit flat, but mostly it's just great. Fantastic even. Hearing something this extensive from him, you know, we haven't got an album before from him. So yeah, great to hear his style over the course of an LP. And there are really good tracks here from stacks to after hours freaks and geeks the power the intro as well pretty fucking fantastic as a way of opening up the collection there's a lot of excellent stuff on show from start to finish 15 tracks here so quite a big lp yeah this will be one of the best of the year in bass music i think for sure but from that we go to this little texas album which i would have to say is indeed too fast as the album title would suggest and too intense i mean yeah fair play to him he's got his style He's doing his thing and you can't knock it. You really can't knock it given how much fun he's clearly having, the live shows and all of that, and that comes from this music. But there's just no way. There is no way that I can listen to a whole album of this from start to finish, which is how I personally like to enjoy albums. So I'm looking for a couple more breaks, you know, a couple more bits of respite and uh, rebuilding in amidst the mad, insane energy that we get here. You know, just a bit of dynamism stylistically genre-wise and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this album, it's too fast and it's a lot. Lux is back. Not his best collection of tracks, I have to say. It feels a little bit underdeveloped overall, this EP. There are some good ideas like Fane and Unlike You a little bit later on is all right as well. It just doesn't feel that fleshed out production-wise across the whole thing. But, you know, great, he's back. And I wonder and hope, actually, that he will keep with it alongside Elizra, because that alias is great as well. But yeah, Lux, he just put out some fantastic tunes with that alias. So we want to see them both working in tandem. Very solid 140 deep dubstep kind of EP here from Microdot. The production, really warm, rounded off, catchy ideas that keep your attention really well. It just sounds really, really good on the ear for the most part across the four tracks that we get here. Paranormal in particular, track number two, I think which is an absolute wobbler but yeah this collection overall this project get on it more fun cutesy bass music more great melodic play on show yet again from neddy i think there's still a thing of a lot of the heaviness sounding quite overblown and maxed out you know a bit of cleaning up on that front with the percussion maybe in particular would articulate his sound quite a bit more and freshen it up but my god again here the melodic prowess that i touched on earlier just makes it again another great listen and another great collection and another great EP from the Nedster. Another good remix compilation, perhaps better than the Icicle one, of Vanity Fair by Neon Light, their album. Yeah, the Vo here, or VOE, that remix. Don't know exactly what it is. Do let me know below if I've got that wrong. The Killbox Beyond That, the Burr Oak, the Final Fix, the Nebulate, they're all pretty sick. And so the ratio of good here, given that we have 12 tracks, is pretty high. And the general standard across the whole thing, pretty good, exactly that. So yeah, a riveting energy for the compilation, to most of it anyway and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. New EP from Quix isn't bad. I think he's definitely made more exciting tracks and EPs, but for me, that's more of a reflection on his standard that this is just all right, because there are still pretty good drops here, and it's very on point with the production as well. Just not quite as playful as he can be compared with his stuff in the past. Maybe aside from Grenade, track number two here. Uh, so yeah, still pretty good in the grand context of bass music. Three pretty fun and colorful tracks from Run It on the side 
Disciple Roundtable. Yeah, nice to hear him and his style on that label. A predominantly dubstep one, lest we forget. The middle cut for me, Triple Icicle, definitely the most complete feeling of the three that we get. But yeah, more wobbly material, experimental trap leaning kind of stuff. I think it works well for the label, for the imprint. So hopefully more of that as we go forward. Also not bad for me would be the Shadian EP, which I think is another case of good tracks without being great. You know, quite a raspy feel to the whole thing from start to finish, quite gnarly and a good relationship, I think, as well between the dubstep and the house that we get here. I just don't love the ideas and the drops that we get in these tracks in this four cuts, but quite a thumping feel to it, quite banger centric, so would still recommend. New and extensive collection from Six Impala, which, yeah, is just what we've come to expect from this eccentric group. Very kooky, very outlandish, very odd, very wild and hilarious with the ideas, the construction, the sounds, just everything. Just very entertaining, I think, given what they're going for, how many people are involved, how they constantly just try everything to kind of keep your attention. And it's quite refreshing as well for how out there it is. You don't really get a lot of bass music like this. I think basically it's quite hard to narrow it down to a mini review, but you have to check it out if you haven't yet. And I just imagine you'd be hard pressed to find a more simultaneously mind bending and cackle worthy collection of music in this scene, you know, something that really makes you laugh, but that is also just a little bit like, what the fuck am I listening to? This is weird. So uh, yeah, like I said, definite check out if you haven't yet. Debut project on Phase One's new label, Sounds of Mayhem, which is all right. I really love the concept. I think most here, most tracks on this compilation of the eight that we get incorporate metal really effectively into the dubstep. Just not that many ideas from those eight tracks that are memorable for me. The second drop in the Phase One is absolutely mad. Love that. Genuinely one of my favorite drops I've heard in quite a while. And the AK and Lasumi collab is pretty good as well, but beyond that, just a little bit ordinary. New Spagheady album is alright, not quite him and his quirky element for the most part, which is my personal favourite kind of iteration of his style. Could have done with a bit of trimming as well this LP, I think we get 17 tracks, could have cut a few just here and there just to make it a little bit more concise, but there are some fun tunes here, like The Rid and The Rebel, Royal Mob, Fragger, and Big Noodle Energy a little bit more towards the end that add a bit of spice because there are quite a few straightforward ideas here that I don't think quite show his style in its best light, but still very nice to hear his aesthetic, his design, his approach over the stretch of an LP. It's just nice to get an album from him at this point, uh, deep into his discography and career. I will enjoy it more, I'm sure, as I go back to it more. And finally for today, this new EP collection project, whatever you want to call it, a collaboration one between Two Fingers and Moa Deep or Mua Deep. Do let me know below what it actually is. But yeah, it's decent. And I love that these two have collaborated for a whole EP, a whole project, an extensive one, pretty extensive one at that. The overall sound is really good, uh, really warm and kind of thick on the ear, just sounds really nice, which I suppose is expected to an extent given who's involved. Not that many particularly riveting ideas on show or ideas kind of sticking out but you can hear clearly that it's a collaboration between the two of them which is nice and I think it finishes quite well as well. So yeah, that would best sum that one up. But there we have it, the June 2023 edition of the Extra Naughties Monthly Roundup. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But now the Extra Mentions, gonna put them up on the screen right here, right now for you all to see. And yep, if you want to note them down, take a screenshot, whatever you want to do. These are ones that I didn't quite have enough to say about them to mention them in the main part of the video, like I said at the beginning. But ones that, yeah, I still think you should definitely check out because I enjoyed them still a decent amount. And yeah, if you got the time, if and when, I think you should give them a listen as well. But with regards to what I reviewed in this video, the ones I made mini reviews of in the main part of the vid, which ones did you enjoy? Which others not so much? Are there any that I missed out? Let me know in the comment section down below. Beyond that, Patreon link down below in the description if you want to help support the channel and get a load of exclusive content for a small fee each month. And I shall see all of you legends in the next one, whatever that might be. Keep it naughty until then. Peace.